Alright YouTube, how are you guys doing today? I'm back here with another iPod Touch 4G versus the iPhone 4 series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, if you click on this link below, that will take you to all the videos that I've done in relation to the new iPod Touch 4th generation, just in case if you haven't seen it. In this video, I will specifically talk about the Retina display. I've had tons and tons of people asking me, you know, what is the difference between these two screens, if any, which screen is better? Uh, and I did reply to a few of them, but it was just getting crazy. So I thought, hey, why not just make a video and uh, clear the shenanigans up? Now, just to put it simple, I'm not going to make this video too long. The simple fact is, both screens have Retina display. Both have 960 by 640 display. Both uh, have, again, the Retina display. However, the iPhone has the in-plane switching, which means that when you change the, the which means when you change the viewing angle of the iPhone 4, it's not going to mess about with the contrast, it's not going to degrade the quality of the contrast, the brightness, and it's not really going to um, you know, be awkward to your eyes. In essence, the iPhone 4 has a better uh, screen. That's not to say the iPhone 4 fourth generation is crap or you should not get it because it doesn't have in-plane switching. No. All that means is, you probably won't even notice it to be honest. If this is your first 4th generation or if you've always gone with the 4th generation, you will see a huge improvement over the quality from previous generations. If you have an iPhone 4 and you have an iPod Touch 4th generation, which makes me wonder why you have two devices. But for some odd reason, if you have both of these two devices, then you might notice it now and then. However, if you don't have an iPhone 4, you won't notice it and um, you know, you're not really going to get delayed per se by having IPS to be honest. And just to demonstrate the text quality, just to show you, the text and the video both come out very, very sharp. So let's load up a website. Side by side, and as you can see, there's absolutely zero difference in terms of um, the quality of the screen. Both are absolutely crisp. I mean, if I was to put my iPod Touch next to it, uh, you would notice, you know, what a huge improvement, you know, both of these screens are compared to the previous generation of iPod Touches. Here's a website. Both are on full brightness, both devices. And here's something I was doing for charity. So, if, you know, I'm taking, still taking donations. I'll put a link. Uh, done a 51 mile ride on my bike for charity. If you can donate any amount, be it one pound, you know, feel free and uh, if you find my videos useful, put it that way. Even if you can donate a dollar, one pound, go ahead guys, um, I'll leave the description or the, the URL where you can donate, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is give you a IPS comparison, the in-plane switching, and show you what I mean by uh, changing the viewing angles. And you will see the iPhone 4 is superior when it comes to that. So let's go ahead and play a trailer from YouTube. Uh, let's play it together. To be honest, I'm looking at this and I'm kind. I can from the angle that I'm standing at, the iPhone 4 is giving me better colours. And I hope this is going to come out clear um, on the camera that I'm recording from. So as you can see, I, the angle that I'm recording from. If I tilt this, there is sort of a loss in quality. Whereas the iPhone 4, if I tilt it up there's going to be no loss in quality. Can you see that? I'm hoping it's going to come out clear on the camera. Let's play that again. So let me tilt this and no loss of or no degradation of the contrast or the brightness or anything. It's exactly the same and that's the benefit of this IPS technology. Whereas when I play the iPod Touch 4th generation when I tilt that upwards you can see the colour are starting to you know fade away or they're starting to lose or losing momentum if that makes sense whereas the iPhone 4 is just you know superb when it comes to colours and brightness so that's ideal but guys um, do you own both devices um, what do you think again it, that this is a fact the iPhone 4 has a better display uh, simply because of IPS technology in terms of retina display you know both are identical but it's just when you move or change the rotation of the camera itself you do notice better um, video quality of text and video on the iPhone 4 better. But guys, what do you think? You know, leave your comments below. And I hope these videos are useful for those of you in the decision making process which one you should go for. Remember guys, you can join me on iGlassWegion.com, Twitter.com slash i 6 glassweegion Guys, do remember to check out the other iPod Touch 4th generation videos. And yeah, I'll see you in another video. Cheers guys. Thanks.